What's up? <laughs> Robbie here, as usual. Um, I decided to make this video to kind of talk about who is the right person to contact me. And, you know, if you've been uh, thinking about it, if you've been considering it, should you do it, should you not? Is 2000 a month too expensive? Uh, questions like that. And it might not be the best time to make this kind of video because I had like a really really bad meditation experience just like finished 15 minutes ago. But you know, fuck it. I said uh, let's do it real. Let's do it off the cuff. So um, why should you um, work with me? Well, I've been coaching since I was 16 years old. I mean, I've done other things at that time, but I've always found myself going back to coaching. So I developed a real knack for understanding people and what stops people from achieving their potential. And the best way I can describe it is helping people unlock very very simple locks that are stopping them from fulfilling their potential right now. What I mean by that is that during life we have so many beliefs and so many thoughts about how life works and it gets real hard to, to navigate sometimes. So you get people who... Um, creating an online business scares them because they think it's really really complicated or you know creating simple habits uh, everyday habits that will make sure that they're growing in all areas of their lives it, it's it's so complicated to them as a topic that they just stay away from it they they repress it basically and I see people like this every single day. I mean, that's the vast majority. is people that aren't really doing anything with their lives. And one thing I can really say about me that's, that's different from everybody is that I'm always changing. Like, you'll never see a month where I'm doing the exact same thing or I'm the exact same guy. Every month, it's something different. It's a new project. It's a new city, a new country new uh, business venture every month something is changing it's always growing and with most people you'd ask you'd ask them you know a year later uh, what's changed and they're like oh not much it's just fucking crazy oh god I feel so so bad <laughs> probably shouldn't be making this video right now <laughs> I should be like like hey guys what's up you know in the <laughs> with a really good background really good camera you know you should work with me because I'm gonna change your fucking life and I guarantee you this will be amazing um, so yeah you know this is a more even keel kind of video uh, so yeah the answer will I change your life undoubtedly I'm fucking doubtably I will change your life. Uh, will I do it in a month, a week, a day, a year? To be honest, uh, most people don't believe me, but in a day, usually. It takes me not more than like an, a good call to really, really, really change somebody's life. I've had people who didn't even work with me like full time, just go on a single call with me and have their life completely blown apart and changed and as a result, uh, they achieved massive things because they were already moving forward. They just needed like that, that notch, you know, that, that, uh, that pivoting in the right direction. And uh, they've made uh, tremendous uh, gains in life and in business. Other than that, um, I don't know. I mean, the magic really happens when I talk to people. When I'm on a call with somebody um, more often than not I change their lives completely um, I, I don't I've done hundreds of calls 
coaching calls in the last few years and I haven't had a single person whom you know I haven't done like like had a difference in his life so yeah should you contact me of course uh, I mean if you like my content then I can guarantee you that I'm gonna change your fucking life in the free call that I offer uh, should you work with me well let me guarantee you that after a call with me you'll have no doubt that you should work with me uh, and if not then I'll tell you <laughs> that you shouldn't work with me um, about 40% 50% of the people that talk to me end up becoming clients about 25% don't have the money and they still contact me which is completely fine you know mo most people are not they're like you know you should filter the dead weights you know don't talk to people unless they have the money uh, I like talking to everybody you know if they feel like good people I'll, I'll help them you know as long as I have the the time it means as long as I'm not so in demand that I can't or so much so busy that I can't uh, afford to do that then yeah I think it's nice um, and the other 25% are simply people that, you know, something happened and, you know, it happens that, you know, maybe they lose money, maybe, you know, an emergency, something happens and then they don't end up working with me. But, you know, the, everybody wants to work with me. I haven't had anybody do a call with me and then be like, hey, you know, I don't really see the value because uh, I always make sure that the value is extremely extremely clear from the get-go so yeah that's that's pretty much it uh, regarding the coaching um, sorry if, if you expected a bit more I'm uh, just kind of in a bad mood because I had a really really bad meditation and you know like I said I don't judge the meditations so not like you know, oh, stupid, stupid, you performed, you performed badly, you should have done it better. Um, no, it's, it, it was, uh, it was just a really tough meditation. Uh, like I said, meditation is like weeding out uh, stuff that you have, stuff in your subconscious, stuff that is blocking you, stuff that makes you anxious, and, you know, you can actually hear me. Uh, getting a bit sick while I'm recording this video um, and yeah it's 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 all very much connected uh, it's called uh, psychosomatic illnesses uh, when when I noticed that there's a pretty much a hundred percent correlation where if I had like a bad day like a tough day a bad day um, usually it happens when I meditate late and then I might carry around with me throughout the whole day like this unnoticed fe like this feeling of anxiety or stress that I don't notice um, I always get sick the next day uh, and it lasts between a couple of hours couple, and to a couple of days uh, and it means like that there's some shit I need to clean up so when I get sick, I never approach it from a medical perspective. You know, obviously there are exceptions. Uh, and, and doctors, by the way, agree that, I don't remember the exact number, but it's between 70 to 90% of all illnesses are psychosomatic. So even doctors, you know, uh, agree on that. I'm, I'm saying even, it's even more. <laughs> So yeah, I had a pretty bad uh, meditation experience, and then what the, what that causes is uh, I, I didn't finish the meditation. You could say it was an hour, but sometimes you just sorry, you just meditate and and you're, you you finish the meditation, but it doesn't have that smooth ending that I like. Uh, usually, when I finish meditating. Uh, it's 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 a very cool, it's very nice it's very awesome it's like it's like I finish with a bang you know if it could be an easy meditation it could be a hard one but I'll finish like really present to the moment it's like it's like you you 
take the shit out, you know, you, you kind of expose the shit, but then you clean it and you, you clean after yourself. Basically, you finish cleaning after yourself. And what happens when you meditate and you don't clean after yourself uh, because you, uh, you know, had to do something else or, you know, you just didn't finish it on a good note, then the shit, the shit kind of stays with you. Which, which is really, really bad. Actually, talking, like just talking like this, kind of expressing myself is helping me uh, release some of that. But yeah, um, again, it's like exposing a nerve, but not really, not closing it later. Uh, so you kind of carry it with you, that seed of negativity or that seed of anger I mean I'm, I'm right now talking from a place of kind of a, trying to be very conscious very very um, in the moment you know trying to be very with, kind of um, communicative but if I really like communicate the way I feel um, I would it would be more like um, fucking shit, like, fuck this shit, I fucking hate this shit, this video fucking sucks, you know, this is fucking horrible, like, it's fucking deplorable shit, I don't like this, why am I fucking sick, this should stop, like, that's, I mean, I, I'm not really hearing these thoughts, because, uh, again, when you meditate a lot, it, you almost mute them, uh, you basically most of the time your thoughts are in like 5% volume so they also have much less effect but but I can definitely feel energetically that they're there you know that angry pissed off vibe um, you know usually there's a lesson that I like to give you know I like to do the videos like so the lesson in today's video or what you can learn from this uh, but there's really nothing to learn um, yeah, it's just that, you know, everybody has shit that, you know, that's built up in them. And that's why it's so important to meditate. Maybe that's the lesson, you know. <laughs> it's so important to meditate. Even even me right now, just, you know, a bit sick, feeling like shit. Even then, I'm like, dude, this is so fucking key. Like, if, if I, because if I didn't do that, then if you don't root it out, like, if you don't handle that shit, by med you know, there's many ways, but meditation is a really good one. Uh, if you don't let it kind of come out and deal with it directly, then what will happen is uh, it, it will keep uh, reappearing in your life, um, recycling itself uh, in various ways. It's like if you have a, a tree or a weed, you know, that you want to take out, you need to take out from the root because if you don't, you just it's going to keep growing back. Uh, sometimes like splitting into many of these uh, reeds so yeah um, I guess that's the lesson sorry for the sorry for the sick video but five videos a day is five videos a day and I also wanted to keep this one kind of authentic thanks for watching if you watch till the end you're a true fan and I appreciate you um Tomorrow will be better. The videos will be uh, on the same quality. So, uh, have a great fucking night. Um, and, uh, yeah, it'll be awesome. So, um, I'm actually doing much, much better now. Uh, it's been just two hours. And I visited a friend who I helped a lot. And I have to say that I feel good. <laughs> um, you know, the, the previous video, I was really bummed out. The whole idea of the video was about meditation and why you should subscribe to my videos. Uh, but because I've had a bad meditation, it basically fucked up everything for me. And I just felt like shit. And you saw that I, I, I felt so bad. It was that bad that I actually got a bit sick but as I've said it's psychosomatic and it's gonna go away so as you can see um, I've had the bad charge in me for uh, a couple of hours and 
actually the moment uh, coaching came up the moment that you know we started talking about his life and I kind of began began coaching him the way I like I just instantly got in the zone like there's nothing in this world that gets me more in the zone than coaching people uh, just you know I just get so motivated and inspired and really the biggest thing thing I like about it the, the most important thing for me is actually what it does to me when I coach uh, when I coach people I just I help them make sense of life I help them by basically taking sorry for that by basically taking everything that I learned about life which is quite a lot given how much shit I went through and also how many wins I had uh, and I basically take everything and And I just co- basically co- compact them into the most fastest easiest most efficient paradigms and philosophies and and practical advice that a person can take to get success both long term and in the short term get fast results is nothing that makes me feel as good as as uh, having somebody's head somebody's mind just click and they just know exactly what they need to do um, you know what's the next step for them and my friend told me like I coached him a bit you know a bit was like two hours <laughs> and um, and at one point he was like whoa dude like after what I just learned from you I realized they basically wasted the years of my life and that's such a good epiphany like every time somebody has that epiphany I'm so glad I had that so many times by now and actually knowing that you wasted years of your life is the best thing that could possibly happen to you uh, because it means that you now know a better way to live and Uh, so uh, as bad as it sounds you know wasted years of my life uh, well you know you don't really have any alternatives you could either have continued to waste them or you could uh, use the knowledge to live better now and actually the fact that you believe you wasted that time and that it pisses you off just goes to show how deep the transformation is so you know the, the sessions that I do it's uh, free and first session is free and I mean it's more for me than for you to be honest like it's gonna change your life sure but the passion the happiness the motivation that I get from coaching people it's it's there's just nothing like it in my entire life there's nothing that comes close and you know I like working out uh, meditating is you Is something that gives me good results I really enjoy the idea of being famous uh, I love getting appreciation I love good sex I love life but I mean this shit like <laughs> it's better than sex it's better than anything the, the it's the only thing in I, that I have that's like a reliable source of me feeling angry amazing and the only times in my life where I didn't feel amazing um, I either wasn't coaching or I wasn't growing as a coach so in the periods that I wasn't growing anymore that I was kind of complacent usually the times where I passed the $15,000 mark per month um, I would stop growing I would stop expanding I would stop learning and And then I would stop enjoying the coaching and um, I feel very fortunate for having learned so many things at the fairly young age of 22 although 22 isn't that young anymore I mean uh, I just I just feel blessed to be honest it's it's uh, there's nothing like like this like like my knowledge like my wisdom and And when I say knowledge I don't mean things I read in books I mean you know a lot of it is from books and mentors but 
I mean, things that I learned and applied and actually derived and gained wisdom from, like actually having, you know, wisdom in life at such a young age and being able to help so many people. It's, uh, there's nothing like it. And, um, you know, I just asked myself, um, with this behavior that I have now, having so many positive, massive daily habits, and seeing my growth already, I'm asking myself, where will I be three months from now, by the beginning of uh, the 1st of uh, January, 2017, and then I ask myself, where will I be in uh, th- the 1st of January, 2018? Because the rate of growth is uh, accelerating in anything you do. Even things like uh, fitness, uh, you might not be growing more uh, physically as fast. It's pretty linear, but the benefits you get are exponential. Like the difference between having a good body and having a really good body are huge and the difference between having a really good body and and a masterfully shaped body you know the top 0.1% could be the difference in millions uh, both dollars and fans I mean uh, you know I just think of my mo- of, about my goals all the time and I get so excited so pumped up, so energetic, so happy, you know, knowing that if I look forward, you know, in the time scale, the more, the further I look, the more good I see, because when you always grow, when you're on the path of uh, having good habits in all areas of your life, you know, time is very favorable to you, uh, you know, uh, barring uh, the, the accident that could happen, <coughs> sorry, barring the, the accident that could happen or, you know, the bad shit that could happen to anyone, everything is uh, very positive, very optimistic, and by age 30, a bit less than eight years from now, I very much expect to have, um, you know, well over a million fans, well over a uh, hundred million dollars. Like, I believe that I'm going to achieve my big, long, big, uh, quote unquote, long term goals. You know, the the goals of uh, uh, becoming. Uh, know a hectamillionaire meaning having more than a hundred million dollars in net worth uh, having more than a million friends and a million fans um, you know being in all the world having a huge team of over 100 people work for me uh, gaining 20 pounds of muscle and uh, going from about 11 12 percent body fat to eight being perfectly mindful, um, stuff like that. You know, there's many more, but um, I believe I'll achieve these goals uh, before 30, uh, even though they look massive right now. And I really think that my life, like my, my true life, you know, like when you actually get to make a difference in the world, like a real difference that's, you know, going to last for decades is only going to begin at age 30 or perhaps even 40 uh, once I, I don't know, become a billionaire or, or become famous enough to change the whole world or maybe both. Um, yeah, but... I mean, what I'm doing now is just just the build-up. It's just uh, like you go see a, a band, a famous band. Uh, there's usually two bands before it, and um, you know, first one is okay, second one is good, 
and then there's the big band that you want to see. So I believe I'm in the in the first band right now. Um, I, I did have a major transition lately, you know, after all the traumas and bullshit I went through, uh, where I learned more and kind of became grounded for the first time in my life, knowing exactly what my path is to success and how to do it and not relying on uh, gimmicks or fast goals or fast, you know, massive action, just relying on consistency and time. Um, So yeah, that's like, I feel like I'm basically in a transition to the second phase of my life where I have everything in abundance, but not as a something that I you know I'm like oh my god it's abundance it's so good but like as a permanent permanent state and then taking that abundance and multiplying it into a very um, obnoxious amount of abundance because you know most most people they just stop at like 10 million 20 million 30 million I I don't want to stop like I want, I want to be like the guy who goes till, till the end, and um, and only then once I reach this amount of abundance, uh, then uh, the true life purpose will be revealed, kind of like Tony Robbins and how he spent his twenties and thirties and some of his forties into just building his brand and becoming Tony Robbins. Also went through a couple of uh, nasty divorces, so he really had to kind of learn who he is. And then once he achieved that crazy level of abundance, uh, then he really, really got big in terms of uh, philanthropy, things like that. So uh, perhaps I'm a future philanthropist talking to you right now. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching the video. Um, thanks for spending this much time with me um, even though most of it wasn't offering any crazy value at least not from a coaching perspective um, I guess you know a bit more about me now if you watched this far and you haven't sent me a message yet then now would be a good time and um, you know if you watched this far then leave a comment let me know because um, and are your friend. Thank you.